Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Ousmane Dembele starts with Kylian Mbappe in the wide areas. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And they kick off here. Oh, wonderful bit of skill. Chance here. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And the keeper has to deal with it. The corner kicks keep on coming. And taken short. The delivery from Dembele. Oh, a splendid header, but a fine save. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. They take it short. Dembele, determined defending. Oh, surely! And the keeper did more than enough. Now well, Molina. Alvarez. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Giroud. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Low ball in. And read perfectly by Otamendi. Messi. Being egged on by the crowd. An easy one for Loris. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Take it away. Alexis McAllister. McAllister. 
Tremendous ball played through. Can he get them level? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Giroud. Oh, breezing past him. Well, quite simply, that is a wasted chance. Well, it's been such a good game so far. Chances and goals at both ends, and all played at a great tempo. It's certainly been a good watch. Very open, isn't it? An absolute joy to watch. Can he get them in front? Oh, it's in! They take the lead here, and just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? France looking dangerous here. Oh, managing to beat him. Griezmann! And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. McAllister. Alvarez. Messi looking for the through ball. He just needs to keep a cool head. Well, let's see this again. What a pass this is from Messi, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. The stoppage time situation. One minute here. It's there for him. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Poor pass. Tempele. Giroud. Oh, he saved it well. They're going for the short one. And Giroud now at the controls. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. McAllister. Alvarez.
Otamendi enticing with a bit of danger here hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them poor pass under no real pressure and teammates around him long way out and the keeper throws himself at the ball Griezmann tasked with taking the corner well in fairness it wasn't the best of headers and so 30 minutes left for play in this one now well, doesn't get away with it free kick given well deemed to have been a cautionable offence well no question about it he deserved his booking there But he keeps going, but really sticking to the task defensively. Griezmann. It's with Giroud. Well, they have it again. Can he find the right pass? Chances on. And there it is. Another goal. And surely there's no way back from this now. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And Lionel Messi does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There's no stopping that one. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. 20 minutes to go in this one. Griezmann might be a chance here. Oh no! Couldn't beat the goalkeeper. High pressing at its best. Given away by France. Chouameni Rabiot in with a chance that's high level goalkeeping well that's a fantastic save he's such a good keeper well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change played in by Griezmann well they pulled one back but perhaps a bit too late in this contest they haven't been at the races this evening Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Number 10, Kylian Mbappé. Fernandez. Messi. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Rabiot. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. And the corner's been given. And deciding to go short with this one. Dembele with the cross. Well, at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. Has eyes for goal, and he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. And over comes the corner, and the goal kick will be next. a pass that lacks quality and there goes the final whistle 
for the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career. And what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.